Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. I'm Basil and this is my look at the year in mobile operating systems. You've got Android, iOS, Windows Phone and the operating systems that really haven't made it through 2015, namely BlackBerry OS X. Right, I'm going to kick off with Android and Android's my go-to operating system of the moment. iOS and Android are really the top two and they're always kind of neck and neck as to which one really gets me going. Uh, Android Marshmallow with its fingerprint security improvements, stability um, and and of course the new Nexus 6P which it showcased beautifully on has kind of just edged ahead in 2015. Why? Well Android's super customizable. You've obviously got multiple home screens just like iOS that you can populate with shortcuts but it's the widgets and the settings that you can also populate these home screens with that make it really really great for people who just want everything they want at their fingertips. Um, in addition to that obviously you've got great app support on Android. It's much improved over what it used to be pretty much like for like with iOS as far as getting apps really, really quickly goes iOS has some improvements, don't get me wrong. You've got 3D touch implementation. You've also got Apple Watch integration, which is great. Apple Pay, which works really, really well. In addition to this news feature that kind of populates a screen of your search bar, which you can access by swiping down on a home screen or swiping to the left. What iOS hasn't done though, is push through and make any real crazy big advancements. I still prefer Android's user interface when it comes to the pull down notifications tray, the pull down to quick toggles, which you can then long press in order to access quick settings nice and quickly. iOS still feels a bit too convoluted and the sharing options just aren't as versatile. Then you've got Windows Phone 10 or Windows 10 as Microsoft terms it. This has some enhanced user interface features. You used to hate Windows Phone because it used to have really long lists that weren't clearly categorized and they were just a real nightmare to wade through. Now you've got organized lists. You've got a really, really easy to navigate through through settings menu, for example. Personalization options are also much, much better. You can have wallpapers on your live tiles. You can have live tiles over your wallpapers. And um, you can swap out your colors and themes like you could before. You've also got continuum support on the Lumia 950 and 950 XL. This, for anyone who doesn't know, converts your mobile experience into a desktop experience. All you need to do is plug it into a monitor. That said, app support still isn't there for Windows Phone 10. And generally speaking, Windows Phone 10 does provide a substandard experience when compared to iOS and Android, even on its new hardware, the Lumia 950 and 950 XL. And as a result, the two real killer operating systems of 2015 have been Android and iOS, with Windows Phone 10, the late arriver, lagging behind ever so slightly. Still, it's doing significantly better than BlackBerry OS 10. BlackBerry just released their Priv with their skinned version of Android. They've clearly left BlackBerry 10 at the wayside and it's a really, really good phone. The Priv looks great, it feels pretty okay, it's kind of squeaky, but what's really interesting is how well they've skinned the UI. Hopefully you've enjoyed our year in review of the mobile operating systems of 2015. If you have, click that thumbs up button, and of course, if you like BTEC, subscribe. That's how you'll stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching. Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more.